Hey, at least it's something easy. I honestly did not know this game had new introduction music or title screen music. I like it. But hello to all you crazy people and welcome to a progress update video for the one person that requested it. The game has gone through a lot and I do mean a lot of changes since I last did a video on it or a real video on it. I've been releasing a few kind of battle videos just for the fun of it. I was mostly sharing them with my alliance and because the file is too big for Discord I decided to just use my YouTube because you know I have a YouTube channel so I might as well. And I wasn't going to publicize them, but then I went ahead and just did that anyway. And apparently a lot of people like watching those, so... To the one person that requested a progress update... To the one person that required... To the one person that requested a progress update video... Here you go. So, I don't think I need to talk too much about the game's updates, per se. I might do that later. I've been debating on making a guide video. But every time I say hold on because they keep updating it... And I don't want to make a guide video that it end up being outdated immediately after I released it. So, well, let's get down to business. I guess the biggest thing is the progress of my dragons. I do have every current, currently released dragon unlocked. I'm just working on getting all of them to five stars. I should have a team of level 100 dragons, but because I am a big dummy and I level up my habitats rather than powering up my towers, that would be why. So I have a more balanced playstyle. I want to try to get all my dragons to the same level before I start powering up my towers. But as far as like progressing in the game, that isn't a smart move. If you want to actually get further in the game, it's a better, it's the best idea to get a team of level 100 dragons and then you know reach end game otherwise you'll be stuck at a point forever because you're too busy trying to evenly distribute food throughout your entire team so not the most effective thing but i didn't really care to be the most powerful player on the server anyway i just wanted to play and collect all the dragons and have fun anyway so i would say i'm accomplishing my goal but personal play styles aside you see here like I said, I have every dragon unlocked, so we aren't going to go through all that. But I am working on getting all of them starred. It's going to take a good bit because all the ones that you can't attain through breeding, you have to buy shards for, which one is super expensive and two takes a hecking long time. So it'll probably be like, I'm going to get about two years before I have all of them maxed. Yeah, it's going to be a while. I have gotten most of my epics. Pretty max, the ones that are breedable anyway. The ones that aren't breedable, it's going to take me a little bit. Even though I'm surprised I kind of got, got them as where they are. I should have already had a Rita max, but I've been using her shards for the pyramid. Same with Ugwe. If they are breedable, even if I don't have the max, I will throw the shards at the pyramid. Just because I'm crazy like that. Again, balance, don't really care. All the unbreedable epics are definitely going to take me an even longer time. Because I won't be focused on them until after I'm done with the legendaries. So, yeah... Not really in a rush anyway. My rares are pretty good. I've gotten all of them mixed for the most part. I think I'm missing like maybe six stars. Looks like it's about nine, eight or nine stars. Not too bad. I even managed to mix out Polar Knight. I kept getting a lot of those eggs from the Summoner's Cave. My uncommons, I am almost done with them as well. I think I'm missing eight of them now. I think I start up about two more. So almost done with that. My comments, I'm only missing blades, which is why I'm doing this here. I'm breeding for rain and not yeah, rain and Lasvig here. I was also breeding for rain and Lasvig here, but I changed it to a grass breeding thing so I can get more blades eggs. And so now I'm breeding for Kerr and Darkville. So I will be getting some of those eventually. Um progress update on all of my levels and whatnot. As you can see, I've been kind of decorating my islands. They recently updated it so all the islands are now 30 by 30. Which means I now have an extra space here. But I'm not even going to worry about it. Because it took me way too long to kind of get 
a feel of what I like for my islands to be decorated as. And I see I have done how my farm's running, so we're gonna fix that. So yeah, these are my two only these are the only two islands I have actually decorated. I've kinda got this one a little bit is wonky because again the islands weren't a perfect 30 by 30, but I'm too lazy to go back and fix it. So this is probably gonna stay like that for a little bit. Not really in a big hurry anyway, because I don't get that many epics that I just keep sitting there. Epics, I mean legendaries. Over here, I have all my ruins maxed. I think I had them maxed in my last video anyway. I'm not entirely sure. My towers are pretty... They're all evenly leveled except for the ones that I recently leveled. So light, fire, dark, and then nature and electric are currently updating, upgrading. So all those should be on level 7. The only ones that are level 6 are the earth. Oh, nope, I upgraded earth. Right, for bone. I upgraded earth for bone. But metal is going to take me a little bit and water is going to take me a little bit. But the other ones are all level 7. So I'm missing two right now. So soon I'll be able to have most of my dragons up to level 90. It will still be a while before I actually level them up because I'm saving my food for the new Thunder Wolf that's coming out. So I'm kind of being stingy with it a little bit. Which is why all my dragons are still level 80, even though I can level some of them up to level 90. I guess we can look at my other islands too. I've moved some stuff around. I'm kind of debating on what I want to do because I'm still trying to think. But not too much has changed, I don't think, since my last video. I'm not 100% sure what I actually showed off. I probably should have watched that before I did this video. But I don't plan on it being very long anyway. So, again, just a quick progress update. My adventure mode, I have not gotten very far. I'm stuck here because my team is too weak to progress. You probably need at least level 90 to beat these guys. My level 80s can't cut it, even though they can beat pretty strong opponents in arena. But these guys are over leveled, so their stats are a bit more unfair. <laughs> but that's fine. Arena, I am consistently in... Oh, that's a nice message. I'm consistently in the top at least 100. I can stay in the top 50 if I actively fight before it resets. Otherwise, I'll finish in like maybe 60 or 70. So my team is pretty good for that. If I battle frequently, I can get in like the rank 30, somewhere around there. I still can't make it to top 20 because again, my team is too under leveled, so everyone overpowers me. Eventually, I'll be able to hit that one pretty hard. Space Time Rift, I have gotten all the way up to level 100 for everybody. I don't think I can beat the level 110 yet. Again, need level 90 dragons at least. So for now, I'm going to be stuck at level 100. I could probably cheese some of these to beat the level 110, maybe. I think the problem is they're all too fast and they kill me before I can even act. So my dragons need some speed brands. I just haven't set those up yet. And that's something else I'll have to talk about. So this is something new that they've added, the Burial Ground. I can easily beat the level 70 one because my dragons are level 80. And I wanted to level up to level 85, but again, being stingy with food because I'm waiting for Thunderwolf. I hear that that one's a lot harder too, So, but the rewards are a lot better. Eventually I might get there. Dark Trial, another new thing that they've added since my last video. I can get up to, I think... Inner floor. Actually, I think this is probably where I stop. I don't think I can reach nine yet. So this is probably my stopping point. I don't think I can beat these. Like, I can beat maybe one or two of them. But after that, I lose my strongest dragons. And my third team is not strong enough to beat anyone yet. They can beat them in the lower rankings, which you can see here. But once they start to get super strong, my third team can't cut it. So I'm locked there. I remember when they first introduced this mode, I was actually pretty happy because it kind of felt like they were punishing people that focused on one dragon. Like you remember how I talked about having level 100 nicks and then everybody else just supports the nicks. And that wouldn't really work here because you need two or three teams to beat it. But since then, most people have powered up, so most can kind of get through pretty easily. I'm still pretty low in the rankings, but I do a lot better than... I want to say a lot better. I do somewhat better than people that actually destroy me in arena. Because they have one solid team, but I have a pretty balanced team. So I'm happy about that. Dark Trial is probably the only thing where my low self can do anything of worth. I guess we can take a quick look at my dragon brands. 
I have been definitely working on these a lot. Two of them are missing Anubis and Powerless because they're assisting friends. I can still show them though. But yeah, I've been um trying to make sure that I have a set for every single dragon rather than switching brands around. Just because I want them to have their own personalized set rather than having one that caters to multiple dragons. So everybody pretty much has their own unique set for the most part. The exception to that is these two. They actually share brands for the moment. I'm not sure if I'll give Arita a special set or I'll just leave her using Nymph's set here. I haven't decided yet. Because Crit, Jamu, Arita is actually really good. I've discovered from someone in my alliance telling me about it. So I tried it out and yeah, it's actually pretty devastating. At least for NPCs. I haven't tried it against other people. I don't think I will because my Arita is actually pretty underleveled. So... Probably not the best idea, but all my other dragons have some dragon brands on them too. Some of them you see I'm still working on. Eventually they'll get to the point where they're usable. At least in brands, as far as levels and stars go, that's another story. Don't anticipate on having that anytime soon. And I also have some brands I'm saving up for the Wolf, Thunder Wolf coming out. As per recommendation of someone else in my alliance, I think I'll go with Bully. It makes sense for him. And if you don't know why, you'll see later. Whenever he comes out, I'll probably do another video about it. Um, oh yes, I was going to show off the other two. So these are my other two dragon brands. Other two sets. So I had prayer on him, but I took it off because I wanted a little extra crit boost. So he wasn't critting as much, but he was still doing a lot of damage. Just didn't crit as frequently as I would like. So I gave him some extra crit boost. The newbies here, I changed from prayer. He used to have... A prayer set but I changed them to this one after someone wrecked me in arena with it so I wanted to try that out and the problem is Anubis is never targeted in my arena battles I guess because he has such a unique elemental balance so his weaknesses aren't as easily exploited so every dragon will go for every other dragon on my team and he's always targeted last which means he's almost never put at low health for me to use the RS Dragon Brand, which is kind of why I've been debating on taking it off and giving him prayer back, which I probably will do at some point. But RS does come in handy if, like, he gets hit by AOE, then yeah, he's taking down the low health. But as far as single target moves go, he is never targeted almost ever until he's the last dragon standing. So by that point, he can pretty he can die pretty quickly because he is pretty squishy. So those are my two kind of gems there. If you haven't noticed yet, um, they have released coloring. I'll probably do a video on that one because they have a contest going on. I think I might participate in it. I'm not 100% sure yet, but I have one for Pyrolis, Anubis, Rain, and I think one more. Or was that it? That is indeed it. I thought I colored another dragon, but I guess not. I don't think there's anything else to do a progress update on. Yeah, I think that's it. So I've been playing the game for nine months now. I don't remember if I mentioned it at the start of this video or not. But in case I didn't, I have been playing the game for nine months now. And you can see that here. So 265 days, just shy of a year. I think 100 days shy. So I will hit a year in three more months. And this is my current progress. Like I said, the game is actually a lot of fun. I still highly recommend it. You can get a lot of value of your dollars if you want to spend money. If you want to be free to play, you can still make some pretty good progress. It'll just be a lot slower because free to play games are like that. You gotta have patience. Aside from that, I don't really think there's anything else to particularly update on. All my towers, I guess I can kind of talk about those. All of those are almost maxed out. The only ones I haven't really messed with are the craftsmen, and I don't really care for the procreation tower. It's level four. I could get it to level five if I wanted to. But I don't really care for the extra 5% just because this gets backed up so frequently. Breeding faster doesn't really help me. So level 4 is good enough. I don't really need a level 5 one. My harvest one is maxed, of course. Very useful stuff. And like I already said, my runes are maxed. I don't remember those were maxed in my last video though. But so this doesn't turn into a long 30 minute video. Yeah, for the one person that acts, this is my current progress. And I am a half free to play, half pay to win player. I don't gem out my butt. I just 
mostly by the piggy bank so i kind of get that and if during an event i see something good that i want so like if a current event is going on i don't really care about jackpot events but if something good is going on i may buy one of the event packs i kind of been doing that recently just because of all the overtime for my job so i have a little extra money to do it otherwise the only thing i would really buy is the piggy bank and just use the gems for that to do what i need to do i'm also just using the power up my towers and speed up breeding and hatching and that's about it oh and i use it to reset the rift a lot before they added the function to single-handedly so like how many keys you can get it used to be all or nothing so that's what i would do i would use the 250 gems to fully reset this and get myself more keys but aside from that i don't really use gems to like power up towers or anything like that so like if my tower is short some shards i'll just wait for the extra shards rather than gemming it so i'm not that kind of a gemmer I do get a lot of gems. I just don't use them to kind of put myself at like a huge advantage, I'll say. Yeah, that is about it. So I'm not sure what anyone would do with this information, but thank you all for watching and hope you all enjoyed. And of course, I still can't say that I have yet to learn a new saying. We'll get there at some point. Take care, everybody.